Hey there. So just a quick update on what I've been doing with the house. I have, I got all the, uh, the joists put in on the top. They're all secure. I got my home run done. This is the mana block um, from Diego. Um, I still need to get a couple more uh, elbows so I can hook these up and this one. This is going to be my, well, obviously a hose bib for outside. Um, I still need to run the water heater. Um, this is a loop. I left it like this intentionally. This will be going to the water heater, but uh, when I run a pressure test, this is where it has to join up. Um, I have the hose bib coming. It's just going to go outside there. And uh, there. It'll just go outside. And then they're going to seal this up anyway with the uh, irrigate, with the insulation. So, um, what else do we have? This is going to be, this is going to be the shower. So that stuff's going to go in that way. Um, I probably need to get a bigger one of those for that pipe because that's too big. Uh, pipe's too big for that. Um, what else? Yeah, and I just have to finish securing it there. I got the washer machine uh, hooked up, at least the water. I have to get the drain hooked up. Um, this is going to end up being the one of the main venting for the whole system because uh, you have to let air come in so water can go out and also so your P-traps don't get sucked dry of all the water and then you get sewer smells in the house. So the venting is going to come up, go over and go up out of the roof somewhere over there. Um, man, it's windy. I didn't realize that. This is going to be for the washer. That also is 120, uh, excuse me, two, 240 volts. That's going to be 240 volts. And then, um, so I have, that's the commode for the shop. That's a sink for the shop. And uh, man, I still got to put this in here. Yeah, so I moved the panel. It was here. I'm not worried about these holes because this is going to be uh, closed cell insulation. So nothing's getting through that. Kind of got all the wiring done. I have uh, at least just these three, four runs, because there's one down there, um, done. And uh, here's some more. I just need to get them nailed in or stapled. Um, got my ceiling fan there. I ran the lights. They're kind of curled up right here. This is where my uh, little, I don't know what you call them, those little flat flush lights or whatever. Um, my uh, smoke detector, then my other one. Um, 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 let's see. Uh, here's the commode, got all that plumbing set. Again, I just have to do the rough in for that. I have to do the rough for this and for that. That's where the shower is going to be. That's locked so I can get it tested. Um, that's going to come into here with the rest of these. Um, I'll have to get the uh, apparatus for it so I can get it all tested. Um, let's see what else we got done. Oh, the window. This is the big thing. The window has been moved and it's framed and it's all done. Um, got the wiring done all around it still really on the fence about just putting a closet here or not um, i think i have to have a closet i really don't care it's such a small bedroom i forget the size it's like 16 foot by seven eight foot something like that um, it's not the biggest bedroom um, but it's okay it doesn't need to be um, so i really kind of don't want to take the space up with a closet I would uh, rather use that space for a dresser or something, and then maybe I can have the TV on top of it. Um, but, you know, just like a armoire or whatever you want to call it, where I can hang a couple things in there, I don't really need a lot of clothes storage. So we'll see what the code says on that. I kind of think I have to have one, but we'll see. Um, Yes, all the shavings. I'm going to be cleaning this place out soon when I'm done drilling all the holes. I have a fan for in here. 
Um, I actually have the holes drilled. I just need to get the wire out. Um, I have to get the wire out for the smoke detector also. This is one thing I'm gonna tackle probably today. Get this door moved over just a little bit, another inch and a half so I can, it'll accept a larger door. Um, I have to still put a, uh, a fixture up here, a box up here for um, somewhere up here for the light for the bathroom, the light fan combo, um, the vanity light. Oh, and I have to put a little piece of wood in there. Um, I forget what you call it, a nailer for the sheetrock. I have to put one there too. That's why I have those studs there. So look, a, a nailer will be kind of like this. So you have somewhere for the sheetrock to lay on this side and that side. Um, see, this one has it too. Just enough room for that sheetrock to get there and then you can screw into it or nail into it, whatever you're doing with your sheetrock. Um, so, this is my messy table. On this side here, this is gonna be um, the microwave up there. And then I'll have the range down there. And that's what I have to get wired also. That's for the washing machine that way. Um, and then up here, I have them marked with the X's. That'll be the lights. So I just have to get those wired also. They're gonna wire down into, into this box. That's why I haven't uh, um, stapled this part of it. Um, oh, look who showed up. Fridge on its own circuit. And then this is just the um, kitchen counter stuff. So um, I, got, I got a lot done. Um, I need to put the paneling on top also. Um, the flooring, the sheathing, whatever you call it. I think it's flooring, whatever. I got to put that up there too. And uh, that's really it. Just buttoning things up, a little bit of electricity stuff. Um, you know, it just seems like it's one little tiny thing after another um, that I remember. So that's all right. I'll get it done the next few days. Oh, I also need to put sheetrock on this outer part of the wall um, because when they shoot the uh, spray foam insulation, they have to have something to shoot onto. So that's why it's important to have the decking on top and the sheetrock here so they can shoot against all those and uh, get the insulation in there. For up here, so originally I was gonna have it cut way back under that, but I just don't wanna do that. Um, I think that's a waste of wood. And by leaving it like this, I mean, it doesn't really serve any kind of purpose, if you will. It gives me a little something to hang stuff on. If I need to hang, suspend shelving, or for whatever reason, I can hang something on this. Um, and then also mathematically, it works out perfect for my sheetrock um, to sit up on this. And then for on top, it gives me a little extra square footage, you know, um, so, it's not worth me cutting off about two feet, a foot and a half, two feet of, of that. It's just not worth it. I do, however, have to cut off on half of it about an inch and a half because I'll show you. So my cross joist comes along like this and then I doubled it up right here where they overlapped. Um, just for uh, strength and integrity, I doubled those both up. And so, as you can see, it shifts, shifts over right there. So, um, from that joist right here on down, I have to cut those about an inch and a half short. But it's okay, it's pretty, pretty easy. I'll just take a, um, I'll measure it up and stuff, but I have a lot of extra wood. I'll just take a, a piece, lay it against it, mark it, and cut it. I can use the uh, scaffolding I have right here and just kind of knock a couple of them out at a time. So that's not going to be too big of a task. Um, really, that's, that's it. Then get it inspected. I got to get, um, what do you call it? 
the venting up there, but then also the uh, pressure test on it. Get it inspected and then call the spray foam guy and get that done. So that'll probably be done in a couple weeks. Um, really, it's I know it's not a lot. Um, I keep double checking the actual size wire I need for the all the 220 um, appliances. Um, I just I don't want to um, go over on size or under on size. I want to be where it needs to be. And wire right now is ridiculously expensive. Everything here ridiculously expensive. Um, so eh, it kind of stinks. I, I really don't want to waste too much um, at all. But anyway, I'm, I'm really happy with the progress. I think it's going amazingly well. I'm really excited to get the spray foam insulation in because then after that, I get to sheetrock and get that all finished. I mean, it's, it's almost done after that, really. You just get the sheetrock done and then um, paint it, put your appliances in, your, um, what do you call those things? I'm, I'm tired. The uh, cabinets in and do your final, your final uh, fixtures. Then you do your sockets and, you know, all this just kind of little things like that and and then then you're done then your your house is is done so it's pretty exciting pretty 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 exciting